Hey everyone, what's poppin'? Today I'm gonna be doing the real life to Sims challenge, where I take this real life modern farmhouse and try to build a perfect copy of it in the Sims. Well, let's hop right into the build. I think the trickiest thing with this build, and usually with any real life to Sims challenge build, is just figuring out how to get the proportions right. And what I kind of mean by that is that in real life, obviously, you're not constrained by however big a Sims tile is. So sometimes in The Sims, one tile is too big, but then if you don't put that tile in, it's too small. And I got this a lot in this build, especially when I was doing the little dormers that you seem to be working on right now. Um, and then I'll come back to those later and suffer a lot with them. But it was hard because I couldn't separate them by like half a Sims tile. So I think I ended up, oh, oh no, I put two in the end, but I ended up waffling between like, do I want one? Do I want two? Like, are they sticking out too far? Are they not sticking out enough? That was kind of the same issue that I had like with this little front piece here too as well, where I kind of wanted to stick out like half a tile, but that's not an option. So it was sticking out a whole tile and just looked a tad funky. But overall, I mean, I think this turned out all right. And I honestly was surprised on how much of the base game I was able to use with this build. I wasn't intentionally trying to use mostly base game, um, I was just using whatever matched the house in the picture, but actually there's a surprising amount of stuff that was base game compatible, so who knows, maybe I should actually try building a modern farmhouse using just the base game, just to kind of go against the all base game builds look the same. But I think I ended up using mostly, let's see, I used get together, I used a wallpaper from dogs and cats in the end. Um, I used, I think, the the little trimmy thingamabobber from university, and then I used some eco-lifestyle columns, and I think that's it for packs. But this was really fun because I don't usually build stuff like this. Usually when I build a modern build, it's like a super boxy like modern build where I'm not worrying about putting a roof on or anything. And then usually if I build something that's more of a farmhouse or a more traditional build, I'm not going for like the monochromatic modern vibe, so it was fun to challenge myself and do something that was a little bit out of my comfort zone, and something that was a little bit different. And I didn't actually end up furnishing this build, I just did the exterior because that ended up taking a pretty long time, but if you'd like to see me attempt to furnish this monstrosity, I mean furnish this most beautiful build, then you should definitely comment down below and let me know that I should attempt to furnish this. And also let me know! What did you think about this build? Did I do a good job? Or does this just kind of look bad? Sometimes I can't really tell. I also discovered this like wonderful uh, visual glitch, or not visual glitch, but like glitch with the spandrels. It turns out if you have one of these chunky um, like freezes on your wall, then the spandrel will glitch to be below it, which is I guess fine if you have the freeze everywhere, but if you only have it next to one column, the way I have it here, then it means that your spandrels just will be uneven, and I couldn't have that, so I ended up bumping out that little bump out section a little bit further, so that way I could just put the spandrels across and it would look even and normal. Um, but man, it, it was it was a time. I also made, I, I think this is one of my favorite details in this house, are these little like custom windows I made. So I used the snowy escape windows and then these little tiny ones from the base game to make like this cool little window thing. Um, because that's kind of how the reference picture looked and obviously we don't have a window like this in the base game or like in the sims at all. Um, not sure what I said in the base game. I guess we kind of have one in the base game that is similar but it's one of those ones where the black looks like gray, and I'm not about that, so didn't want to use that, so I used, you know, custom DIY window, which is something that I always try to remember to use more when I'm building and get creative with putting things together. Um, but yeah, secret pro tip, just put windows together and you can make new looking windows. Who knew? Now that we're getting kind of towards what is starting to look like the final product more. I ended up switching out the windows. I had two different reference pictures I was looking at actually. One of them only had kind of the right side of the house, so I ended up using that bigger reference picture from the beginning of the video um, so I could look at the whole thing. 
and I realized that all of the windows are like the little panel windows and not just a big modern window, except for the two on the little black bump outs. So I went back and fixed that. I also, um, I didn't put any windows on the back of the house because the reference picture obviously didn't show the back and I was just trying to make it look like the picture. But if you'd like me to furnish this house, then obviously I'll have to put like windows and doors on the back, which I'm sure will be a whole adventure as well as trying to figure out a floor pan for this because uh, the upstairs is what we call a little bit weird. This was, this part, I was so conflicted almost by using like the default concrete for the walkways because it kind of felt wrong just to use the default concrete like intentionally and to leave that on the porch but that is what the picture looked like so I just kept it and I also the garden was really fun to do because we don't have obviously a quite match for the shrubbery that we have in real life so I ended up like sizing down trees and things to put in the garden and that was really fun and something a little different. Uh, I also am definitely the type of person that usually fills up the garden all the way. And in the reference picture, it's just kind of a couple of sparse plants. So, you know, that's kind of what I did. And honestly, I'm pretty happy with it. it. Definitely made me try something a little bit different and like do something a little bit different in terms of my landscaping. Because I feel like I get into a landscaping groove that I'm really comfortable with. And then I don't really branch out too far from there. So always good to do these types of things to force yourself to do something a little bit different and to grow a little bit more as a builder and I had a really great time making this video if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and also comment down below how did I do and what would you like to see me build next also this shell is on my gallery so if you decide that you'd like to download it and furnish it it's there it's available uh, it's just called modern farmhouse shell so it's free for you to download and my gallery name is the same as my YouTube channel handle.